Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and the Samsung Galaxy S8 is everywhere. And that makes sense because not only does Samsung have a massive marketing budget to put this thing in front of your eyes, but it also happens to be a really great phone, so it makes sense. But that makes it so easy to overlook LG G6, which is another fantastic phone. It's actually LG's best phone ever. It's kind of like the James Harden regular season when Russell Westbrook just had like such a high profile MVP caliber regular season. Easy to, no, is that, I thought that was a good analogy. Well, golf has never been my sport, Marquez, but you're right. The Galaxy S8 is a tremendous smartphone, but smartphones are very personal things. And for some people, the LG G6 might be even better. This is true. So let's get to it. I'm Mr. Mobile and this is LG G6 versus Galaxy S8. So these are actually very similar phones, both flagships, both top of the line for what's offered by the respective manufacturers. But right off the bat, there have been some differences that can have a really significant effect on the user experience. And it's all these things put together that have me leaning between these two towards the Galaxy S8. First of all, the S8 has a better display. In fact, it is the best display on any smartphone, which is huge. It's an OLED, so colors and contrast not only pop more, but have a wider available range. Uh, it's brighter and more visible outdoors, and it has even slightly higher resolution, coming in at a slightly taller aspect ratio than the G6. Now, that's not to say the G6's display is bad by any means, but nothing quite compares to the edge-to-edge -edge curved glass display on the Galaxy S8 right now. It's in a class of its own at this point in the year. And that gives it this immersion factor. It's often better for watching videos, uh, playing games, etc., because it lets you completely ignore the edges and just watch the content. The Black G6 is definitely not as bad with this, but obviously it doesn't quite melt over the same way. And reflections, while they are a pain in the butt to ignore on video like this, they don't feel nearly as bad in real life. So there's that display advantage, but then I just give the general industrial design and aesthetic award to the Galaxy S8. It has a much more sleek, polished feel than a slightly more industrial looking G6. And again, G6 doesn't look bad at all, but put them side by side and the G6 kind of looks more like a rough draft while the S8 looks like a final copy. The rounded edges and nearly seamless connection between the glass and the front and back and the metal sides makes it feel like you're holding a smooth stone type of thing, while the G6 feels like your traditional phone type of thing. That rhymed. But overall, I give the aesthetic advantage to the Galaxy S8. Uh, and then there's just the specs on paper. So I did say they're both flagships, but again, when you see the higher resolution display, when you see the Snapdragon 835 versus Snapdragon 821, uh, you kind of have to give the edge to the S8 again in this category. And then just from using it for a while, you notice a lot of little things. I prefer the headphone jack at the bottom of the phone. Galaxy S8 does that for me. I prefer no carrier branding anywhere on the back of any model. Galaxy S8 does that too. And the GS8 is just the tiniest bit narrower and lighter than the G6, so the screen to body ratio is just that tiny bit better. It helps. And there's just a couple more features packed into the software, stuff like the iris scanner and the first ever front facing camera with autofocus. But even with all these things, there are still reasons to consider getting a G6 for your own personal use over a Galaxy S8. So for those reasons, this is Michael Fisher for Mr. Mobile. Thanks, man. Hey, can I get some music real quick? Thank you. So all your points on the S8 are well taken, Marquez. But the LG G6 has two huge wins over the S8, I think, and a few smaller ones too. The first big one is projected durability. The G6 is a chunkier phone than the S8 and easier to grip, I think. But if you do drop it, the G6 is also more likely to take a hit gracefully, at least on paper. It's certified compliant with MIL standard 810G, now, that's not always as rugged as it sounds. Manufacturers can game test results a bunch of ways. But LG has been good enough to let everyone in on which lab it employed to test the G6, as well as which procedures it used for that testing. The G6 passed 14 separate tests, including low temperature, high temperature, temperature shock, humidity, vibration, solar radiation, low pressure, sand and dust, immersion, rain, and uh, my favorite, salt fog. Now, Samsung will probably release a Galaxy S8 Active that meets these same criteria. It's done so for the past four years. But if it follows precedent, it'll be exclusive to AT&T and also probably aesthetically challenged. 
The regular S8 can be dunked in water like the G6, it meets the same IP standard, but if it came down to which of these I'd rather take hiking on treacherous terrain or braving the salt fog bog of Serata 4, I'd take the G6. The other big reason I might choose LG over Samsung? The camera. Not because the G6 always outshoots the S8, each of these can take some wonderful photos, but because the G6 lets me double up. That extra camera on the LG is more than mere adornment. It packs a 125-degree lens that lets you capture much more of a scene without dealing with a clumsy panorama. Obviously, this kind of dramatic framing isn't always what you want, and that's why the standard shooter is there as well. Between the primary and wide-angle cameras, the G6 can capture photos and video the S8 just can't. A couple last things before I throw it back to you, Marquez. While the G6's display doesn't have the saturation or contrast of the S8's, the fact that it's an LCD means it may be less susceptible to burn-in than Samsung's AMOLED. Also, the G6 totally wins on buttons. No half-functional Bixby key to get confused with the volume rocker. And yes, the G6's fingerprint sensor is way easier to feel out than the S8's ergonomic nightmare. Okay, let's kill the music. Thank you. Back to you, sir. So at the end of the day, it turns out, surprise, surprise, these are both really good smartphones in their own respective ways. Uh, and you might have been swayed by looking at the comments section, maybe people saying, oh, the Galaxy S8's way better, or the G6 wipes the floor with the S8, it's underrated. Neither of those is completely true. These are both really good options. So that being said, that puts it entirely in your hands to pick which one of these you'd spend your money on. It's your call. So that is it. Thank you for watching. And of course, thanks to Mr. Mobile for his contribution to this video. You can see his channel right here. He does a whole bunch of mobile related videos that are fantastic. Uh, and again, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.